questions for Derek? How does it feel to just be this hot shooting the ball right now and, you know, in this much in a groove? Just how does it feel? Feels good. Um, I think just the most important thing is just to win. Um, like I've said before, it doesn't matter if I score zero or however many I score today. Like when we win, then doing enough. Is there anything you feel like set you up for this? Is, is it the quality of looks you're getting? Is it the way you entered the playoffs? Just why do you feel like you're in this groove right now? Yeah, I think I'm getting pretty good looks um, and obviously you make a couple uh, the basket's a little bigger and you kind of take and make tough, tougher ones so um, I think I definitely started the game with some good looks and then just went from there. What got you going in particular in the third quarter there? Um, I mean just playing off of JT and JB um, just knowing that they're the focal point of a lot of defenses and um, just get a good look and knock it down and try to help us anyway. After the number of threes you hit tonight, you've got 20 over three games. The only guys that ever do that in the playoffs are Steph, Clay, and Jamal Murray. Is there any reaction to being in the same group as them? Hell of players, <laughs> that's for sure. Does it feel like you're in a rhythm? Yeah, I guess I'd say so. Um, <laughs> feels feels good. Um, I just want to help us win. That's all it is. How did those uh, chants feel that they were quite chance? It was awesome. Um, Shout out to the fans always. I'm thankful and I'm, I'm grateful for them always. Derek, how do you feel the bigs handled things without KP tonight? Yeah. Um, that was amazing. Um, this does so much for us every time he's out there. But uh, I think Luke was, I mean, he came in and trying to kind of changed everything for us and um, just brought energy, protected the basket, rebounded, and. Uh, his minutes were huge, and, and then X, I think, came in and gave us really good minutes as well. So, um, like we said all year long that the strength of this team is the team, and um, guys stay ready, and we trust them, and they, they were big for us. Well, there was a point where it, it looked like Luke was going to take a shot, and he was kind of wobbling on his feet, and then he dished off to the right to you, and you got a free. Do you remember that at all? Or? Luke was going to take the shot? It looked like he was. Oh, in the paint? Yeah. Oh, outside. <laughs> oh, I mean. Luke is a 100% three-point shooter, so we're trying to get him to take more threes. <laughs> you, you touched on Jalen and Jason to make it easier for you. When Jalen has it going like that, how much easier is it for you? And how fun is it to watch him when he, he did the step and he turned his head before the ball went to hoop on uh, in third quarter three? I mean, what's it like when he's got it going? He's unbelievable. Um, just the things he can do on the court is, uh, is special. And I think he just consistently wants to get better. And uh, I mean, he had it going, but he was also making the right read and um, just creating stuff for myself and the teammates. So um, he was unreal tonight. Started the game off big for us and just consistently just made the right play. And, and then when he got it going, it's fun to watch. You talked a million times about how the team told you to be more confident shooting the ball over the years, but uh, when you take a dozen threes, you guys have won 21 straight games now. So clearly there's a correlation. When when like the team's always been encouraging you to shoot, did they ever give you like feedback about like you know metrics that show why it's like more valuable for you to shoot? No, no, no not that deep. Um, just trying to get good looks in. Um, I mean, like I've said, like JT and JB get a lot of attention, so um, just stay spaced, stay ready, and um, I think, I mean, I take a lot of threes like that, probably made a lot too, so um, just keep taking good looks and, and knock them down. The way they were kind of hedging on some of like the octagon actions, it seems like you knew that once they kind of retreated back, you'd have that pull-up, so like, how did you feel you were able to find like specific actions tonight where you could take that pull-up shot? Yeah, um, we're just trying to take what defense gave you. Um, I think... And then one of them, they went under. Um, so I think that's why I shot it. But uh, just trying to read the, the pick and roll every time and see what they're trying to do. And uh, we understand they're going to make adjustments. And so we got to be ready for whatever it is. What adjustments did you guys make after the first quarter and shutting down the perimeter defensively? Yeah, I think uh, we gave them a lot of threes early. Um, so we kind of did a better job of that. But I'm excited for, for tomorrow and how we can learn and get better. Uh, I think there's a lot that we, we did bad and that we need to get better at. Derek, what, specific, what specifically did you see from Luke tonight that you liked? I mean, just keeping, keeping the balls alive and on offensive rebounds and um, defensively um, blocking shots, just changing shots, and 
Um, the, the bark was decent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.